So welcome to the Subaru Outback. So I'm gonna talk you through the main controls on the car now. So starting on the driver's door, at the top here we have the memory for the seat. So when you get the seat in a position you're comfortable with, you press set and one of the numbers and you'll hear that little beep and that's then programmed in. So when you get into the car, you press your button and it'll move to suit. And then you have button two for another driver. On here, we have the uh, buttons for the electric mirrors. So left and right for each mirror. And then the button moves like a little joystick just to adjust the position. Underneath, we have the button to fold the mirrors in. So as you see here, the mirror's folding in, press it again, mirror folds out. The button with the padlock on unlocks the whole car, locks the whole car if you want to lock yourself in button next to that locks the rear windows so it stops anybody using the windows in the back and then you have your electric windows front and rear uh, just below so onto the steering wheel controls on the right hand side at the bottom you have i for intelligent mode and s for sports mode as you select those you'll see the display at the top here will show a little graph if i flip between the two showing the way in which the engine is remapped so intelligent mode more relaxed sports mode you get all the power and it holds onto it for longer and they can just be toggled as you're driving. The other buttons on the right hand side, top one turns the cruise control on to make it active. When you press it, again, the display will change to show a picture of your car and in front of it will be some white lines. That can be increased and decreased, as you see there, the lines reducing, and that's with these two buttons here. And that determines how close you get to the car in front. So if you have more white lines, there'll be a bigger gap less white lines, closer gap. Because the cruise control will automatically reduce your speed if there's a car in front that's going slower. This button here, when you select that, if the car were to drift out of the lane, the car will actually steer you back in. Um, so on a country lane, you may want to turn that off, but on dual carriageway, it's very useful. And pressing the top button again, just turns the cruise control off. Uh, on the left-hand side of the steering wheel, we have the volume control for the stereo. So we can adjust that accordingly from here see the screen changing and then above that the arrows to allow you to select different radio stations that you've got programmed in so it'll scroll through each each direction left and right the source button will choose which format so fm am and digital radio and then to the right of that you've got the voice control so you can actually talk to the car as you press it it will talk you through prompts on the screen as well underneath there we have the two phone buttons so when your phone's paired if it rings left hand button to answer the call, right hand one to end the call. And then underneath, just at the back, some more buttons here. As you select those, it changes the display in the center of the dashboard. So like a little trip computer, you've got your compass, tire pressures, all different bits and pieces you can have in there. And one goes one way, one goes the other. So with the stereo system here, the right hand dial does the volume, or as you've seen, you can do it from the steering wheel. The little house button always takes you back to this main screen. So if you ever get lost, press that one and you've got all your, your features on here. So for example, to pair a phone, just press the phone and it will talk you through how to pair a phone. So very straightforward. Just need to have your phone on Bluetooth settings uh, and that will show the, the car on there. Go back to home again. Then we've got the map. Brings up your map and at the bottom with the menu, you can then search for destination. So again, very easy to, easy to operate. Um, apps. If you've got an Apple phone or an Android phone, you can connect it with your charging cable into the USB slots in here. Uh, and once that's connected, that will then become live for Android Auto or Apple CarPlay, whichever one you want to use. And those icons will then light up um, and it'll, your phone will talk you through how to use it. Um, and then we have media so if you have a bluetooth music or usb stick connected you can access the music on there as well and in the radio um, fm am digital radio station list will bring up the stations that you can you can get in that area so that will list them all rather than having to search for them separately that's the stereo system so the heater control section just underneath the stereo on the the left and right you've got your heated seat buttons so there's three different settings to those um, adjust just by pressing the button. Twist the right dial will, will change the driver's temperature. Twist the left dial will do the passenger temperature. If you're in the car on your own, press sync and the driver's one will do both temperatures together. When you press the auto button, will automatically adjust everything to keep the temperatures that you set with the dial, so very easy to use. 
but you've also got the buttons for your fan speed manually as well if you wanted to and the mode button in the center will show where the air is coming out or scroll through every time you press it but again on auto it will do it all for you on the left hand side you've got your heated rear screen and heated mirrors and then the one next to that is for the defog for the windscreen okay so with the gear lever you have to have your foot on the brake to get it out of park press the button at the front move down to reverse neutral then down into drive if you push the lever sideways it will go into manual mode and then the paddles behind the steering wheel you've got the left hand one to change down a gear right hand one to change up a gear and you'll also see the dial the bezels have all gone orange to show that that's in manual mode so you see they don't want to go back to auto it goes blue so you can tell which mode you're in as well Put that back into park. the handbrake as you lift that up that will engage the handbrake for you as you drive off, as long as the seat belt's on and the doors are shut, it will automatically release when you touch the accelerator. Or if you just push that down with your foot on the brake, that will also release it manually. AVH, automatic vehicle hold. So if you stop on a hill, that will hold it on the brake for you. And as you drive off, it will release again. The X mode on the right here heightens all the, the traction controls from bad conditions, deep snow or deep mud. It just keeps the torque very constant so the revs stay more constant. The view button allows you to adjust the camera. So as you'll see on here, we've got the front camera, side camera, and when we put it into reverse, we have the rear camera as well. And that allows you to toggle through those different views. Right. So the buttons down here, the left hand one allows you to tailor how bright the dials are. The one to the right of that is for the memory height of the boot. So you can set the boot to open to a certain height when this is in, it will only open to your preset height. When it's out, it will open to the full height. The button to the right of that turns the little lights in the wing mirrors off. So if there's a car in your blind spot, that will turn those lights off. To the right of that allows you to open the boot from inside. And then below, on the, on the far left, um, turns the eyesight cameras off. So that stops the pre-collision braking. So you wouldn't really want to turn that off. The one to the right of that um, is the, the the lane assist so if you go across the white lines the car will beep that allows you to switch that system off to the right of that when you stop at the traffic lights it will turn the engine off to save fuel if you don't like it doing that again you can turn that system off and then the one on the far right is the traction control um, which you can switch off with that button is always on other than when you press that 